What's up everyone, my name is Trevor and I am the Gaming Goomba and first off I just want to say you are all very welcome for not making 10,000 different rumor videos leading up to the announcement of this thing. I know. I'm very brave. This thing has been talked about since the release of the first Switch model and I have always thought it made perfect sense. If you're going to integrate your home console and portable console markets into one, it makes sense to release one model that appeals to the home console market and one that appeals to the portable console market. Now there is one series of games that I thought made it pretty painfully obvious that Nintendo was going to eventually make this move, and of course that's Pokemon. Pokemon has always been, for as long as it's been around, exclusive to Nintendo Switch portable consoles, dating all the way back from Pokemon Red on the original Game Boy, and to the most recent Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon on the Nintendo 3DS. I think Nintendo knew it would be a risky and controversial move to take the series to a fresh and new hybrid console. And with the expensive price point of the Switch, it might have been difficult to win over all of the fans of the series and convince them to drop a grand total of $360 just to play the newest Pokemon game. Enter the brand new Nintendo Switch Lite. And can I just give a big shout out to the guys at Nintendo for not putting the word new in this console's name because man, that would have been all sorts of confusing. The Nintendo Switch Lite is as bare bones as it gets. As we all predicted, the system will not have detachable Joy-Cons and will be permanently connected to the console. So let's hope that they have fixed the Joy-Con drift issues. Also, the system replaced the individual directional buttons with a standard D-pad. Honestly, I wish they would just release a Joy-Con like this because I hate those damn directional buttons. Also, the HD rumble and IR sensors have been removed from the system. However, the most controversial decision of all has to be the removal of the ability to play the system on your TV. This is the one removed feature that I wholeheartedly disagree with. The ability to play the system on your TV and on the go is what makes this the Switch. Honestly, I don't even think the dock should have been that expensive to produce. It's literally a hunk of plastic with an HDMI port and a couple of USB ports. And quite frankly, I think it's highway robbery that they sell the dock by itself for 80 freaking dollars. I feel like there would have been a way to keep the price of the system down without taking away the TV feature altogether. When I first started live streaming, I had to unhook my dock from the TV and take it over to my office area and hook it all back up over there, and it was always a big hassle. I thought it would be pretty convenient to have a second dock, but I was not willing to spend $80 on one. So instead of dropping all that cash on a brand new Nintendo Switch dock, I decided I would just do a little bit of research and see if I could come up with a cheaper alternative. And what I came up with was this. This is a stripped down, bare bones dock. I got it on Amazon.com. Right here on the front, you got your power port, you got an HDMI port, and you've also got an extra USB port. And then right here on the front is where you plug it directly into your Switch. It's pretty great. It gets the job done for live streaming. The only problem I have with it is for some reason you can't watch YouTube or Hulu on it, but you can play games and I've used it for all my live streams and I've had no issues with it. I was hoping with the Switch Lite, Nintendo would include something like this so the cost would stay down and it would still be considered a Switch. Outside of that one complaint, I do think this is a great and very obvious move on Nintendo's part. With the release of Pokemon coming up in November and then Animal Crossing shortly after that, Nintendo is going to sell a ton of these bad boys. I think if you're someone who's been on the fence for a long time about picking up a Nintendo Switch and were really only interested in a couple of games like Pokemon or Animal Crossing, this system will be well worth it to you. In fact, I think this console was essentially made for you. That's pretty much going to wrap up today's video, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the unveiled of Nintendo Switch Lite. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? I'd love to hear all of your thoughts, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.